Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about some pin files that I've created that helps make GPIO a little bit easier. Um, the first thing I have is on my GitHub, I have a wiring convention. So there's a few exceptions, but in general, we're using red as our 3.3, black as our ground, white's our five volts, and then orange for out, indigo for input, and then yellow for bidirectional and then brown for clock signals. So when you're connecting your wires, you can have an idea of what is its purpose. We can go in and say like, okay, we have this I to C device. And so we have an SDA wire with our data. So that means we're probably looking at a yellow wire and we can scroll down. Oh, and there's a yellow wire with SDA and it's going to C1 on our flipper. We can, if we click on it and say info, it doesn't scroll, we can see the full thing. So we can see it's the 15th pin or the seventh pin on the right side. And then we can, um, and then also, it can be really handy when you're, you know, looking at some of the more complicated ones where it's sometimes it's referred to as SDI on the device. Sometimes it's referred to as MO. Sometimes it's referred to as MOSI. Sometimes it's referred to as SI. These are all uh, devices using the SPI protocol, but they label the pins differently on the device. Um, and again, we would, in this case, we would look at it from the perspective of, of the flipper and so the pin is the flipper's data out. So from the perspective of the flipper, it's SDO from the flipper. So it'd be SDI um, on the device side. So anyway, so I think this is helpful to be able to kind of reason about the different wires and what they mean. Low power UART is the one area I'm struggling still because it doesn't follow convention. You know, it's a clock on the I to C line, but then it's, it's actually a receive on the other line. So if you guys have ideas of how to deal with that color code convention, I'd love to hear it. Okay. So a quick demo of how to install it. You're basically going to go over and clone the repo. And then when you do go into the GPIO pins folder, select everything except for the readme. And then over on your flipper and QFlipper application, go into SD card, right click and say new folder, say pins, go into your pins folder that just got created, drag all the files in there. Now you're ready to go. And now in your flipper, when you press the down and you're in the browser section, you may have to go left or right to get to browser. Um, you go down and you'll see pins and there they are. So that's all there is to it. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks a lot.